Hello guys, good to see ya. This is kind of part two of the tutorial. The first one I did was um, creating a void world for Minecraft 1.12.2 and earlier. This is for the new versions of Minecraft 1.13 up and right now we're in the version 1.14.4 Java. So um, creating a void world in the newer version is a little easier. You don't have to type in a special command. We're gonna go ahead and show you. Just go to single player, create new world. Let's go ahead and make sure we're in creative. We'll say void world test, because we're just testing this for now. Um, world options, world type, make it super flat and then select customize. And it used to, you go in presets and just type it in. Um, here in the newer versions they made it easier, void is already here. Click void, use preset, and we've already got it. Click done, done create new world. Now I'll be patient. And now we have our void world and wouldn't you know they go ahead and start it off with a small slab of stone. Now this is nice because if you need to build um, off of the void world it's sitting here right here ready for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a command in case you wanna just you know go off a ways and then start a block somewhere or even really high and you don't want to use that there's a way to set a block just right underneath you so go wherever you want to go then backspace set block a little squiggly one two three minecraft and then do your uh, do your stone or diamond block whatever block you want and hit enter and there it is now you can start building off from it. And it's really nice for building space stations or survival worlds that are a lot of fun, you know, challenging and stuff. And that's all there really is to it. Um, oh, and I think I'm about to show you this in case you're watching this for the first time, you haven't seen my other tutorial. Um, if you go time, set, let's do... Now, there is actually, you see how you don't see the stars beyond this point? Especially if you're using a sky texture pack, there's this big annoying square underneath you. Not that square, but you know, the other square. To get rid of that, you have to have Optifine, which I happen to have already installed. I pretty much never play that Optifine. Optifine, video settings, details, and turn sky off. Now you can see the stars under there and there's the sun and you know like if you're doing a space station and you want to make it so you can see stars all the way around you that, that's how you do it you have to use optifine for that and if it's a you know texture pack with like nebulas and stuff like that then you can see the nebulas all around it's really quite nice well the fact is that's all i've got for you i just wanted you to see how it was done and now you know how to make your own void world cool